Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are unstuffing our one and only binder. Guys, I am just going to jump right into this. I have a lot of stories I could tell you. I think we're gonna have to save some for like here and there because it has just been a lot happening here. If you can relate to that, comments below. How is your week going? How is your month going? Because I'm going to give you that guys, the short reasons why, but we can't go into too much details. We just won't have the time or the space for it for this short unstuffing. But basically to recap you guys to where we're at, I did unstuff a bunch of my binders to basically set aside $5,000 as a cushion, a savings for a new car or for a house down payment. We were hoping for a house down payment, but I set aside $5,000 and I'm going to tell you guys now I have, I got a new car. <laughs> so I used all of that savings for a car. And then I used a little more than what I have sitting on the credit card for some health bills. We have some health bills sitting at $1,500 for myself and for my kids. It was unexpected, but it is just some things that we needed to some checkups we needed, some things that we needed. So here we are. Um, and I'm just gonna slowly unstuff all of these categories and then we'll chat about it. But just while I'm catching you guys up to where we are today, it was difficult to let go of that money, that cushion. First off, because times are uncertain, I wanted to keep that cushion, but it was definitely time for a new car. And maybe we'll have like a whole car video how to car shop, things that went wrong. This was not like the easiest thing for me to do, but uh, it needed to be done. Not the easiest, I mean, as in like the actual like doing it was very difficult. I've never been sold to by a car salesman before and that was a whole journey, okay? <laughs> but I got a new car, it's very exciting. I'm at the point now where I'm excited about it, but it just came a little bit sooner than I really wanted to. So, you know, it was a little hard to let go of that money. Also, I don't know if you guys have been watching other channels. Etsy sales have been down across the board for everybody. I don't know if it's because everybody is focusing on the holidays, if Etsy is changing sort of their algorithm and what they're doing and that's influencing how people are shopping different places. But sales have been down for me just like they've been down for everybody. So I just don't feel in a super stable place as far as my money goes. Before we chat too much, let me tell you, because I am gonna be pulling all of this money. Let's recap what's going on here. Bills, homeschool, Christmas, summer camps, we're pulling all of this money and I'm just going to have to later this week, go ahead and fresh start and restart our binders for 2023. I wanted to do that more at the end of December, maybe even start of January and really bulk up all of these categories. But since we're pulling it anyway, let's just start completely fresh. So to catch you guys up where we're at, I spent all of my savings, literally all of my savings, even so like summer camp, I had some, you know, some placeholders to represent cash that was in the savings account. I spent that money on the car down payment just to get that bill a little bit lower. I will have a car bill. I just tried to get it as low as I could. I have also already started doing some Christmas shopping. So some of this money needs to come out from that anyway. Homeschooling, I did already pay for homeschooling for the month of December. And then bills, I was going to basically be doing a YouTube cash stuffing today. Well, I just put the almost 1400 I got from YouTube check that I was going to stuff today. I basically already paid my rent with that. So we do need a little bit more for bills this coming month. So like, we're gonna chat through all this, but before we see what was in each category and kind of lump it all together. I did want to tell you I'm going ahead and pulling all of these categories. These are variable spending. We will continue saving. We are just going to have to restart it. So where we're at, I actually have about 1500 in medical debt right now. And then I have a couple hundred on the credit card because I've already done all of my Christmas shopping. So I needed to pull this Christmas shopping to pay myself back anyway. So I know that was a whirlwind. Did you guys keep up with that? It has kind of been one of those weeks and I just, I didn't know how to move forward. I'm going to be completely honest. You can see I didn't scrub the tattoo off. I don't have my rings on. I didn't do my nails. I'm in a bit of a funky place and I'm not like emotionally funky. I'm just, when it comes to money, because I spend so much energy and time really trying to encourage you guys to budget, I want to bring positive vibes here, right? So 
that is very genuine. It's really what I want to bring here. And usually I'm feeling very positive about my budget. I'm feeling in a good spot. This week I am feeling a little stressed just because the car needed to happen so instantly. I didn't have a chance to wrap my brain around it the way that maybe I should have before I jumped out and got something new. So all the cash is pulled. We are going to restart binders later this week. I usually try to show up with positive energy because I want to encourage you guys to budget. I don't want you to watch me and to feel like, oh, well, if she can't, you know, keep her budget on track, then what hope is there for us, you know? And I kind of don't feel like I've gotten myself in a negative place. I just needed to get that vehicle. And I mean, I only had so much saved, you know? I am a single mom and whenever I think about it, where I was last year at this time, I didn't have a savings there either. And we survived it, right? We're okay. So I'm coming around to a much more positive place as far as like how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling about money and my budget. I'm very excited for the new vehicle. To go, to make a long story very short, basically the car that I had needed a couple small things. And when I brought it to the dealership to get it worked on, they basically charged me $600 for an oil change. Like that's the long and short of it. I got 600 charged $600 for hours of them like looking at repairs or something. And all they did was change my oil. And I'm not going to lie. That's not the first time this place has really screwed me over, but typically excuse my language. I'm sorry, but this is, um, they tend to charge me about four times as much as it is, but it's a dealership. It's a, you know, like certified Honda place. What am I doing here? I've got money all over the place. Oh, I'm backwards. I'm backwards. <laughs> um, they've, I've, you know, because I don't have a husband, I go in by myself. I'm just like, whatever. I usually just pay whatever they ask me to pay because I'm like, I know that I know nothing. I know that it's, they're upcharging me, but it is what it is. Well, this time they literally charged me 600 or $550 worth of like fees to look at some of the problems that I brought up, but I didn't really okay them charging me that amount. Anyway, I'm saying that to say I decided in that moment, like, look, it's time to stop putting off getting a better vehicle. I need something that is more reliable, something that has way less miles on it so that when an issue comes up, it's not like, oh, you need $10,000 worth of repairs and it takes us 10 hours to take it apart. I don't know. I just felt like I don't want to be doing that anymore. Like if you guys have an older vehicle, you know what I'm talking about. There's a bit of stress that does come with it. So I am just setting some of this play money over here because I mean, really it is spent into the car. Where I sit right now, I have accepted everything. I feel really good and excited about the new vehicle. I have already Christmas shopped, so I don't have any stress there. I think I'm done paying for all of the medical stuff and it's stuff that we really needed to have done. So I feel okay about it. I think, oh, I don't know if I clarified this earlier, but there was a part of me that wanted to come on here and stuff the YouTube check because I knew like, oh, that's going to get some momentum. It's going to have people feeling good and inspired because it's YouTube money, you know? So I really wanted to come on and stuff that YouTube check, but more than anything, I was like, you know what? I just need to pay my credit cards because I have that 1500 in medical debt sitting on a credit card and then a couple hundred more for the Christmas shopping. I think it's going to give me so much peace of mind to just unstuff all of this. Hopefully it's close to what I need and then we can start fresh and be excited about starting fresh later this week, right? You guys be excited with me. So the good news is that I did already pay for pretty much everything for Christmas. I already paid for homeschooling next month and I already paid my, um, my rent for my rent for December. So the only thing really that I need to worry about for December is I do need that car payment. My car payments are going to be $400 a month. I know pill to swallow, but that's where we sit right now. So my car payments are going to be $400 per month and I don't have that set aside yet. And then I need about $300 more for gas, electric, all of those other bills. But we will go ahead and start a binder later this week where we are cash stuffing to get some of those things covered. We will worry about that later this week. Here's to hoping there's at least like 1500 here. I don't, I don't even know if there is. So let's count it together. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 
550, 650, 750, 850, 800, 50, 1,000. Okay, we are off to a good start. Y'all already know I'm going to confuse myself. Let's put that 1,000 right there. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300. Let's, whoop, let's hold the 50. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. Oh my God. Y'all, I could cry right now. I had, I didn't know what we were about to pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're at 1,700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. 850, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Is that 2,000? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2,000. Okay, so we are sitting at 2,000. Oh, y'all, this makes me... So I knew I should have done this. I am sorry we did not get the YouTube cash stuffing, but this is doing it for my soul. We are at $2,000 right now. So 2,010, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 2,143. I think that's what I said. So we have more than what I needed, which means I get a little bit more of a cushion for the holidays, which is great because I know I'm going to want to spend a little bit on some food to bring for Thanksgiving and to contribute to the family. And then of course there's little traditions and you know, some foods that I would love to contribute to Christmas without it being too much of a stress. So we are kind of calling it even at this point. I do need to come up with maybe $800 worth of bills if you count that car note, if you count, actually not even, four, five, six, seven. I need about $700 for December still. So maybe, maybe we will keep this in our new binder. We're gonna set everything else up completely from scratch, completely fresh later this week though to set up our bills for 2023. And then we will just need to fill this out to cover some bills for December before we get to start moving forward. I, I feel good, okay? I know we're starting from scratch, but like I said, this time last year, I did not have a stable, you know, setup either. And as far as Etsy goes and things, guys, I mean, Etsy is still my full-time income. Please continue to support me on Etsy and YouTube. But, you know, it is time to pivot in some new directions that I've been working on anyway. I am going to continue working over on Etsy. I am not quitting Etsy. I know that some people are just over it and they are quitting, but um, I'm going to stay there. I just, I do know that I need to stop banking on it as my full-time income. So we'll have more of those discussions as time goes by. I am sorry this was so chatty. I am sorry if this energy was a little different than normal. I think the, you know, major purchases can be a little bit stressful and I've been a little bit stressed with the car and then of course with some medical things, but I'm gonna get this to the bank. I'm gonna pay off that credit card from the medical debt and I'm going to feel really good about where we get to start fresh for 2023. So, and I got a new car, guys. Y'all, I don't want to brush over that excitement. It does come with some stress as far as, like, another bill to pay. But I did put some money down on it. I was able to get that to a somewhat comfortable price at $400 a month. And I am excited to be driving around something more reliable for me and the boys. So if I think back to where I was a year ago, I mean, I'm still feeling like I'm trending in the right direction. If I think back to where I was five years ago, y'all, five years ago... I was living in a really rinky-dink, I think it was maybe 600 square foot, tiny space with two babies, unemployed. I mean, we could go into how my life was um, before you guys knew me. Anyway, whew, so many heavy topics today. I have a lot on my mind, but I am very thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for this community. I hope that this video does not leave you uninspired or upset. You know, sometimes this is just what it is, and I hope that you guys know that I am okay. I'm happy to have some of these just, some of these stressful things, but like some of these things needed to be done health-wise, car-wise, 
all of like the adulting. I will see you guys again later this week. It will be better energy, I promise. Also, if you guys are on Patreon, I did upload our first chapter over there if you're a part of the book club. Um, I'm excited about that. I think I'm going to have basically a chapter every other day going up. So that's exciting. If you haven't checked there yet, go check it out. And that's it for this video. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you again later this week as we start fresh with some binders for 2023. Bye-bye.